Previously on Bushcraft Survival Challenge. Fire! He thinks he can make a video. I can make a video. Ha! Doesn't even have a camera on my hand. I've had to eat my hat and jumper because of lack of food. I'm actually going to start trying to light the fire. Oh dear. It's not going to be good. We have water. Water is almost as important as food. That's why I had to eat my clothes. <coughs> Surviving is very difficult. As usual, my friend BJ is, uh, ah. Uh, He's kind of just standing there, really. Not sure what he's doing, but we're going to actually try and light this fire. So I discovered, uh, when I was perusing the, uh, the forest at leisure, this wood. This wood is very stringy. I can just dash it a few times. Now, I don't, I don't really know what he's been up to. Over here, I've hit a lot of crashing, whacking of trees. <coughs> I don't really know what he's been up to. I was all worked out. Now we have this. This, uh, it's very useful. Just pile it up a bit. We got this very, uh, flammable, apparently, substance that's rather wet. So, it won't work very well. We need a second piece of this stuff. Because I don't want to part with it. It's my only friend! Pay a visit to the enemy! Who's impervious to fake arrows. Hacker. Life hacks! That's how to do it, Chester. You show that nature. Get right, don't step on <laughs> now, we need some more bark. Not for fire lighting, but for fire lighting. Technically. I really wish I either had a sharper knife or softer trees. So after doing some trading with the locals, we have dis discovered this ancient artifact called Bark and its brother, Kevin. We now will be lighting our fire. I don't know how, we will work it out. I think I've carved a bit of a, hopefully a bit of a spindle in there. So the idea is the drill will sit in there and then when the embers get created, they'll fall out through the little notch. All right, so we have our drill. But it's nice for my embers to fall out onto my ember pan, which is just, just, just a handle for the top. So I gotta make my bow out of this bent piece of wood here. So what we have right here is some, um, I guess you could say flammable materials. Um, I get our, our boomerang, mate. Oh no, <laughs> get off from the top. Nice. I have no idea how to use this thing. Okay, I think I'm all ready. Got my fire pit, got my bow and my drill, and my spindle and various other implements. My tinder here on this nice flat rock. So it's time to set the fire and get cooking. Well, we've actually achieved something. Look at this. Wow. I'm actually almost there. Ah, uh, the bow kind of snapped. So, just is just hanging around here, his bow snapped apparently, so he's off to find another piece for that in a second. But, I think it's time for attempt number one. Oh. Mm, that's... <laughs> Tight or something. My problem is, this wood's so hard, it's kind of just polishing it rather than actually getting any heat. Oh, I can smell it. BJ's uh, uh, dying over there. 
I've decided to abandon the attempt of doing this 100% legitly. I'm going to actually try and get a fire lit. So I'm going to be using flint steel now, which means I am technically disqualified. So BJ can light his fire naturally. He'll get a point, but if he gives up, then no one gets a point. Uh, let's give this a go. It's, it's very difficult. So I didn't have any success with the bow. I haven't actually had any success with that either. This stuff doesn't work. Well, it's been about closer to two hours than to not. We didn't succeed, neither me or BJ. So neither of us get a point, but yeah, what are you gonna do? It's very, it's very, very, very difficult. Even with flint and steel, I couldn't even light it with flint and steel. So let's see what else is going on. Hey, sir. I've tried a couple of different things and I think my problem is my wood is just too hard and I think I'm pretty confident like if I were to use maybe this piece and if I were to carve out a nice little notch in there I, I reckon I might be able to get it going. The issue is <laughs> I don't have the time. I'm gonna go and give it a try lighting that with my flint and steel. Technically this isn't actually a flint and steel it's um, a magnesium rod and a striker but hopefully using this we should have a little more luck. So what are you doing, BJ? You failed as well. Not I, me. I have conceded defeat because I have conceded defeat. It is time for us to have lunch. Ah, oh, it went out before I could get there. Do it closer. Yeah, I will. Tell you what, why don't we just do it in there? Yeah. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Well, I'm proud of us. <laughs> Isn't that amazing when you get good tinner, just one hit and light straight up? Because the natural stuff I use is a bit wet, so maybe. Yep, that would probably have done it. Well, even when we admit defeat, we can actually do it. If, yeah. <laughs> With my brains, you know, my ability brains. to put kindling on fire. Huzzah. So um, we gave up eventually. We gave up. Yeah, because we ran out of time, basically. Yeah, we only have a certain amount of time. So, <laughs> so I'm confident we could have got there if we continued, but we didn't quite get there. So, yeah. So thank Spice you for up watching. <laughs>